नमस्कार दोस्तों हमारे पॉडकास्ट सिनेमा सिनेमा के ट्वेंटी नाइन्थ एपिसोड में मैं के यूज आपका स्वागत करता हूं आप लोगों ने नोटिस किया होगा कि पिछले कुछ एपिसोड्स में हमने नई फिल्में और वेब सीरीज के रिव्यू दिए लेकिन आज हमने सोचा कि कुछ और करते हैं तो आज हम डिस्कस करेंगे एक ऐसी ट्रेंड को जो एंटरटेनमेंट की दुनिया में देखी गई है पिछले दो साल में तो हुआ ये कि जब मार्च 2020 में पैंडेमिक आया तो जाहिर सी बातें थिएटर्स बंद हो गए क्योंकि पूरा देश लॉकडाउन में था तो इसी के चलते लोगों ने अपने एंटरटेनमेंट की भूख मिटाने के लिए वेब सीरीज का सहारा लिया क्योंकि और कोई ऑप्शन था ही नहीं और तमाम शोज के मेकर्स को भी लगा कि ये काफी अच्छा समय होगा अपने हमारे शोज को रिलीज करने का क्योंकि एक ऑडियंस बनती जा रही थी इसके लिए और ऐसा करते करते ही वेब मीडियम को एक बड़ी ऑडियंस मिल गई और ऐसे लोग जो पहले कभी वेब सीरीज देखते नहीं थे उन्होंने भी देखना शुरू कर दिया मैं भी उनमें से एक हूँ और इसमें हुआ ये कि जो पहले उन्होंने मजबूरी में आके शोज देखना शुरू किया था वो फिर धीरे धीरे उनकी आदत बन गई और ये कहा जा सकता है कि लोगों के एंटरटेनमेंट कंजम्पन में एक बदलाव देखा गया तो इसी टॉपिक पे आज बात करने के लिए मेरे साथ है सिनेस्तान डॉट कॉम की डेप्यूटी एडिटर सोनल पंड्या हाय सोनल वेलकम टू द शो वंस अगेन हाय क्यूर हाय सो यू मस्ट हैव हर्ड द टॉपिक फॉर टुडेज डिस्कशन क्या सो इफ वी टॉक अबाउट यू सो सिंस व्हेन सिंस व्हेन हैव यू बीन वाचिंग वेब शोज आई हैव बीन वाचिंग वेब शोज फॉर अ व्हाइल नाउ बट Hmm. Yes, definitely. In the last two years, it has increased. I have started watching more shows online. I would say before I would watch them, say on television, or way before I would also be, uh, you know, renting DVDs to watch TV shows. Okay, this is a while back, but I've always enjoyed watching television shows as opposed to films as well. Oh, But, okay. Yeah, streaming has def my streaming consumption has definitely gone up in the last two years. I would say. Hmm. So, do you binge watch shows an entire season at one go? I prefer not to see. Like, if I am reviewing a show, I have no choice but to binge hmm, watch. Of shows. course. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. So it has to be done, you know, as soon as possible. Hmm. But I really prefer to take it slow with. you know tv series i grown up in the us so i like that format of watching one episode a week uh-huh. and keeping you know yourself interested over a whole tv season yeah so they uh, have uh, such shows released just one episode a week This yes something fact, very rare for india yeah but in fact uh, i've recently watched a couple of shows which hmm. have been coming out every week there was one just ended a few weeks ago called killing eve the fourth and final season Okay. And last year there were some really good ones, Only Murders in the Building and Mayor of East Town. Both of them were, you know, streaming shows which came online every week. Okay. And for you know, Killing Eve and for Only Murders in the Building and Mayor of East Town, there was a central mystery also in there. Achha. So each time, ta- each week, you are like your interest, your curiosity is heightened because it leaves you hanging. You know. Right. So that's definitely there. If you watch it in one go, yes, you're satisfied. But then there's always something like, oh, now I want more. But then, <laughs> you know, it takes time and effort to make television series. You know, of nearly, course, hmm. nearly a year goes into it. So by the time you are getting into season two, a long time has passed. You know. Yeah. Hmm. So yeah, so do you think uh, the reason why uh, in India all these Hindi shows are released at one go, all the all ten episodes or eight episodes are released at one go? So mm-hmm. do you think this is this might be because they are not quite confident about the shows? Like they might feel after mm-hmm. five episodes, people might lose interest, or they might not be as excited as they were for the first episode. Sure, sure, I I suppose so. And everybody seems to be following the Netflix model of dropping <laughs> all episodes at. You know, one time. Right. I think that for some shows it could work, like mm. something like Scam 1992. If had it come out every week, imagine our uh, our excitement. Oh, you know? ah. <laughs> that would have been great. Or even something like Patal Lok. Yeah, even the Family Man uh, would have uh, yes. generated the excitement. Definitely, definitely. Watching it at one go, yes, it's it it is it it's fun. But mm. I like to take my time with uh, shows that I watch personally for myself. Mm-hmm. I maybe watch two 
episodes at a go maybe three if i'm really curious as to what happens next if certain episode is left at a cliffhanger but i don't really like to binge watch because i feel that at the end of it i i feel a bit hollow with the content you know right so i don't like to otherwise then i i like to interchange a bit so i'll watch a few ep- uh, sh- series and then i'll watch films that Achha. i have been wanting to for a while uh, uh-huh. how about you what do you like to pref- uh, uh, how do you like to watch my answer is the same as yours <laughs> if i am hmm. reviewing a show then i watch it at one go and then i binge watch Uh, otherwise i don't prefer binge watching uh, i prefer watching one or two episode uh, at one stretch and then on the next day i'll watch another couple of episodes mm-hmm. so this is how i like and another thing is that uh, i'm very particular about my sleep so if uh, the clock strikes 12 in the night then i have to sleep no matter <laughs> how interesting or how exciting the show is i, yeah, I need my yeah. sleep <laughs> but yeah but we I have ha- seen this uh, we have uh, we know a lot of people uh, who have been uh, who binge watch an entire hmm. show in the night i mean they start at uh, around 12 or 1 and they it will go on till uh, 7 or 8 in the morning and they'll sacrifice hmm. their sleep so what do you think can be the reason for this up is the excitement so high for the show that people are not sure. worried about sleeping <laughs> sure i'm i'm sure for certain shows you know be it like the subject or the star who's in it hmm. people might be excited for that but i feel there's also another element to it that we you know we're not taking into granted mm-hmm. is if you go on social media especially for shows which you know come out on a friday mm-hmm. if you sometimes i feel if you don't watch a very buzzy show by the weekend mm-hmm. by monday tuesday some aspect of the show is due to be spoiled for oh, sure oh yeah this is, this even happens in on the first or second day i've seen that <laughs> yeah if you avoid it uh, it can be in any ways it can be people you know writing about a very big spoiler it can be people sharing scenes as mm. memes many other things so sometimes i do feel the pressure for like a very big show to watch it you know within the week that it's out because i don't want to be spoiled about it i have seen on social media people don't care about posting spoilers somebody's death somebody who is not returning for second season which gives it away that something big has happened to them in this season right all those kind of things happen so if you don't watch it within that first 24 hours or that weekend that it's out then certain mm. aspect of the show i think is definitely spoiled yeah right and one so, funny thing which i have noticed is that uh, people these days or not these days but since many years i have seen in the last you can say 10 to 15 years i have noticed that people are not willing to sit for a 3 hour movie i don't know whether you have experienced this but i have seen this many times when the censor certificate comes uh, on the screen and if it says 180 minutes or 185 minutes that we can hear strange noises from people ki are itni lambi oh shit as yes. it so but these are the same people who are completely fine with watch with binge watching a show or an entire season for 10 episodes why is this i mean this is quite strange it's, it's quite curious i i really don't know see it dip, for movies also i don't mind watching long movies hmm. depending on whether it's been told the right way it's right. all about the filmmaking if it's badly made obviously i'm I'm going to have a problem sitting there for a very long movie. We are lucky in India in that we have an intermission, so there is uh, a yeah. brief, uh, uh. a brief period of respite. You can go get some food. You want to go to the bathroom? You can do yes. so. But international audiences aren't that lucky, in which you know mm-hmm. they can go and have a, a an intermission. Probably they only get it for Indian movies. but i feel that i don't understand why people would complain about watching a long movie in a theater yes. because long movies have been being made since not now since uh-huh. forever you're right right since forever so i guess people are just so used to consuming content so fast and you know like binge watching gives them some weird kind of high i guess <laughs> next episode yeah. next yes i want to see the next episode yeah and next. they uh, they also feel uh, certain excitement to uh, uh, reveal on social media that i saw all the episodes when i sub dekh liya hai me that's again social media bragging right that's uh, yeah. what everybody wants to do and it's it if something is you know 30 minutes and it's only 6 episodes it's very easy to binge watch yeah that is okay. like that. yeah right yeah but these days there are shows which are you know one hour long 50 minutes long 45 minutes long and it's quite mm-hmm. hard to consume something like that it is indeed so fast 
and sometimes shows you know which are so dense and have so many plot lines if you don't digest it properly you will be confused later on as well yes that it happens it wasn't this person supposed to be going there or ah. what happened to this character we haven't seen him for 3 4 episodes stuff mm. like that i just feel that if you have time and you watch it you know with a break two episodes one episode weekly or whatever it gives you time to properly digest what the writers yes. the filmmakers the actors are trying to do as well but that's just me hmm okay and another uh, very strange trend which has been seen in recent times in movies is that mm. these south films like pushpa rrr and kgf2 these are three hour long films but mm. uh, people are fine with uh, sitting through these films and uh, they and you must have seen we are all are aware how uh, how much money these films have made in the hindi sure. region so sure. why is it that uh, they are fine with uh, watching these film for 3 hours has it uh, something to do with the content of hindi films like they if they are, like as if they are not entertaining enough probably it's uh, it's probably the genre the pushpa rrr kgf2 also these are all characters that contain larger than life characters yes all masala entertainers yeah so i guess people are sort of you know hinting that this is what they like hindi cinema few movies have that but we are i i guess hindi cinema is definitely trying to do something different hmm. with the social uh, social film messages and comedies and dramas and biopics uh, yeah biopic so many biopics hmm. so so many biopics so they're definitely going in a different direction there are people yeah. who like that but then there are people who enjoy this masala film making as well so that mm. that works also and in this two year period when we were all in uh, lockdown and we discovered you know streaming we mm. did discover other language films like i for sure yes. discovered tamil films and telugu films and malayalam films so our uh, it's been broadened you know yeah, the, yeah. the kind of content we have been watching so yeah even i have started watching malayalam films i never did that earlier yeah so that's the thing you know you've got a choice so you can say that okay you know what i like this instead and uh, i think that uh, if people are going for 3 plus hours to a movie theater to watch then for for movies like pushpa and others then Yeah I mean it should be something that you know other filmmakers can also see that they can also make 3 hour films but mm. obviously it should be entertaining that's the that is the whole thing that's the key because why do we go to a movie theater because mm-hmm. we are physically leaving our homes you know and going to a place just to watch this so if there is something in this product this film that is attracting us to it you know? right yeah Yeah. Uh, so coming to the quality of these uh, Hindi OTT shows, uh, mm-hmm. I remember we had seen many of them in 2020. Mm-hmm. Some for reviewing, some for our personal purpose, and uh, mm-hmm. I remember we had liked a lot of them in 2020. But same wasn't the case in 2021, and the same has been in 2022, wherein we are unable to see so many uh, good shows. I mean, most of them are pretty ordinary or mediocre, you can say. So the I think somewhere the quality has dropped. Since since last year do you also feel that yes i definitely think so i feel a little bit of a content fatigue setting in when we first started in 2020 and there was this whole ott boom there were some really good shows mm-hmm. family man mm-hmm. was obviously there from before but there was also panchayat was there pata lok scam 1992 so i mean we saw all these kind of shows but then there were other shows that came on and then quickly it happened that you know you also got these uh, within the two year period you some have also had a second season now mm-hmm. even a third season is coming right and it just seems like there's too much to follow too many platforms as well yeah. too much happening too much buzz like you don't know what to watch and then you're like ah forget all this i just want to read a book now <laughs> So, yeah and like you said about the second season and the third season somewhere it uh, looks uh, a bit forced because there have yes, been a lot of shows, shows where they just uh, keep the ending uh, they end the show on a cliffhanger they don't reveal what happens in the end and they mm. are like abhi next season dekho usme batayenge aise so this is also something that has uh, bothered me over the last couple of years i feel that this is happening now with greater frequency with 
almost all the indian shows it doesn't mm-hmm. matter if it's a comedy or if it's a drama it's happening across the board yeah. that the story is is not contained in one uh, season it goes on for for two they are planning ahead they are planning for maybe two three seasons mm-hmm. maybe four five i don't know the thing that i like about uh, international series is there are quite a few limited series where it's right. just on one certain topic or one certain incident that happens uh, mm-hmm. and they move on right and that's also something in in an age where there's so much to content to consume i sort of like that as well i don't know mm-hmm. about you that you know if it's a limited series you're done with and you move on yeah yeah i like that i also prefer that because it is good to see the ending it is good to see a closure to the story exactly so, uh, this is what i prefer Well, there have been few shows where I am okay with the second or the third season. Uh, mm-hmm. One has been uh, the Inside Edge uh, on Amazon Prime. Uh, this is, mm-hmm. I mean, for cricket lovers, it is very interesting, and uh, they have been demanding more and more seasons. I mean, like uh, the third season came out a uh, few months back, and uh, now they are looking at the fourth season as well. They ended the show in a way uh, mm-hmm. where they would be presenting the fourth season surely. so but uh, this is a very rare example most of the time don't i don't prefer that but mm. uh, only in case of inside edge i have been okay with it yeah i i sort of liked uh, a show like patal lok which was also mm-hmm. yeah you know a story that had a mystery and that concluded very nicely as well so i say i would say for scam 1992 uh then mm-hmm. there have been other shows like panchayat which was so lovely and since two years i've been waiting for the second yeah, season yeah same yeah and it's, it's not here yet so i mean it it depends on how they end it as also there are right. shows which you know leave you on a really cliff, big cliffhanger like somebody's gone missing somebody kills somebody or mm-hmm. something like that and then you're like oh god now what's going to happen next and then you don't know for nearly 6 to 8 months sometimes in an hour uh, in a year uh, as well mm-hmm. so yeah and uh, recently a show which i really enjoyed which was rocket boys same year i same felt year. Yeah. ended very <laughs> abruptly and i i wanted more yeah i know that it, was a show that it, i it ended abruptly yeah yeah and uh, i have heard that they have uh, completed shooting the second season as well so yes. i am this is one uh, show which i am eagerly looking forward of course uh, panchayat as well yeah so it again it depends on the content but everybody wants to have that sort of ip that they can take forward a show that you know people instantly love and they want to see more of which i get but you know we have care for us viewers also <laughs> because there is literally so much stuff so out much there. yeah are yeah and i feel like after a point if you don't watch it within the first month or so that something comes out i i'm i'm talking about you know web series mm-hmm. after a point you can forget about it as yeah, well yeah it happens then, with me yeah then because then there is you know two three other big buzzy shows that have come along yeah. uh, and then of course there are always features that are you know enticing that people want to watch even the theater and even online then it becomes that you know your, your to watch list keeps growing it, and growing and growing absolutely <laughs> so it, it 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 would be good if you know you had the time to catch up on all these things hmm. later on also so right so yeah it is i think it will be interesting to see the scenario of uh, hindi web shows in the next you can say 3 or 4 months like oh, hmm. what the situation is and uh, what is the quality of the show and whether they are getting the same number of audience like before yeah hmm. so at least in the international space many uh, streaming platforms have moved to this weekly model okay because it creates a lot of buzz online as well like i said social media bragging rights yeah. <laughs> and also it gives you a proper way to digest the story yes uh. all, as well but i feel that here it, it's harder to do a, mm. a weekly model over here i'm not sure how many people would be up for that it is over difficult here. over here yeah yeah everybody seems to enjoy the the binge watch model <laughs> much much more uh, yeah. but i really feel like maybe for indian shows they could look at maybe looking at lesser number of episodes yeah that seems uh, nice yeah 
Because I, I don't know, I feel like uh, most of the British shows that I enjoy watching, hmm. I enjoy watching them much, much more because they, in the lesser amount of time, like maybe four episodes or six episodes or even three episodes, oh, okay. they get the story done. But even those three episodes are like an hour and a half long. They're almost okay. the length of a feature film. <laughs> oh. But they, but it's everything's neatly concluded. Meanwhile, with US shows, You've got maybe 13 episodes, even 18 episodes for certain Oh-ho. shows. Hmm. So that's how th- that's going. Indian episodes, web series are looking at, I think, 8 to 10 is the, the, the normal which is going hmm. on. Yeah. But I feel sometimes it gets dragged. I'll give you an example recently, okay. which I saw my for review. And I really liked the concept, but I felt maybe that it would have been better if it was a film and not a web series because there were plot lines that got dragged endlessly. Oh, so, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it happens. Yeah, definitely. So I think that maybe they need to look at the feedback from people as well. Yes, see what people mean. are talking online. But yeah, I don't think this is going to go away because everybody is just wanting to create more and more online content as well. Uh, Theatres have opened up, but the online content is definitely going to be sticking around for a, for a while. Right, yeah. So yeah, so thanks Sonal. You gave a lot of insights about the web series, not just Indian web series, but abroad also, which not uh, a lot of people know. So yeah, it was a very fruitful conversation with you. Thank so, you. So, I would like to say to our listeners that you have to give us your feedback on how you feel this episode. And next week, we will be able to 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 be able